How's it going everybody? Welcome to Sick Eric Tech. Today we finally going to be taking a look at the regular Galaxy S22. We got it in the Phantom White Edition. Now these are starting to get shipped out to people and they're starting to become available. Uh, they've been unavailable for quite some time. I know the Ultra has been on back order and this is a T-Mobile variant and this has been on back order until now. So now everybody should be getting their devices in and these should start being available as we speak right now. T-Mobile has pretty much all the colors in stock right now. And of course, Samsung, they're getting their shit together when it comes down to shipping. And hopefully you guys have been getting yours uh, delivered uh, now. And hopefully you'll be getting yours delivered soon. So with that being said, we're going to be taking a look at the regular Galaxy S22 in the Phantom White. This is the T-Mobile variant. 8 gigabytes, 128 storage. There is an option for 256 that you could get also on T-Mobile as well. So without further ado, subscribe, like, and share. Let's go ahead and jump down into it and take a quick look at the Samsung Galaxy S22 and see, is this thing even worth it? Like, is this worth your time or not? All right, so here we go. We got the regular S22 in the house. This is the Phantom White T-Mobile edition, uh, eight gigabytes. 128 storage. I wanted to get this device to compare it to the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra to see is it even worth getting the smaller device or should you just spend the extra money and get the Ultra. I'm pretty sure a lot of people who don't care about specs and want the cheapest device they're going to get the regular S22. Now still this device comes in at $799 so it is still expensive but still, it's a lot cheaper than the regular, or sorry, the S22 Ultra. So most people are going to get this one. And here we go, we got the device. Now it is a very small device. If you like small uh, devices, this one is going to be it for you. And there we go. So it does look very, very nice. This is pretty small, 6.1 inch display. It is a dynamic AMOLED display. It is at 120 hertz and it is uh, 1080 by 2340. So very, very nice display Cor covered in Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. So let's go ahead and take a look at the device. So yeah, very, very nice. It is smaller than I thought. Definitely smaller than my Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. As you can see right there, very, very nice looking device. It feels really, really good in the hand. Uh, sort of feels like an iPhone with these uh, flat edges and flat corners and the uh, flat back. And it is made out of glass this time. So unlike last year, you do not get that plastic back. You get the premium glass finish on all of the S22 lineups. Let's go ahead and see if there's any power to it. And there we go. So yeah, everything on here is going to be pretty much a dumbed down version of the Ultra. So as far as specs go, you get Android 12, One UI 4.0, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 storage. There is an option for 256 on here as well. Uh, you get a, as far as the battery goes, 3,700 milliamp hour battery. So I'm curious to see exactly how battery life is going to be on here. Since it is a pretty small battery, you get 25 watt charging, 15 watt wireless charging, and 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging on here as well. Bluetooth 5.2, stereo speakers, the Dolby Atmos. All this perks you get on here is just pretty much a dumbed down version. Cameras, I'm excited to test out the cameras up against the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and set it up and then uh, I'll come back to you guys. So don't go anywhere. All right, so as far as other stuff you get in the box, you get your booklets and stuff along with your USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable and all your quick start guides in here. Again, no charger in the box. Again, they're following uh, Apple's route and this is how it's gonna be guys. No charger in the box for any of these devices and that is pretty much all that you get in the box when you get your brand new Galaxy S22. 
four inch 22 ultra so here it is and here it is compared to the ultra so definitely a small device uh, smaller than I prefer my devices I know a lot of people like compact phones but I got big hands and I don't mind big phones as you can see I got the LG V60 and the ultra right here and I don't mind the them being big but if you got small hands and you prefer a smaller device you might want to consider getting the regular S22 or even the plus version so let's go ahead and finish setting this up so we're going to set up our fingerprints confirm without tapping okay I freaking love that that I don't have to type anything on there or hit okay or the check mark when I want to log into my phone so let's go ahead and set up the uh, fingerprint sensor. This is an um, ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. So definitely a step up from the S21 Fan Edition. Pretty much the same sensor you're going to get on your S22 Ultra. So you want to get all sides of your thumb. Got that set up. And uncheck all this T-Mobile crap. And now we are getting our phone ready. So yeah, it's very, very small phone. Uh, it sort of reminds me of an iPhone. So if you're coming from an iPhone and you want to get the latest and greatest from Samsung, you might want to try the S22 uh, regular version because this definitely looks and feels like a iPhone. It's really nice and premium. Don't get me wrong. This thing is nice. It uh, has a nice feel in the hand. It's not too heavy, not too light. And the back of it looks absolutely amazing with this uh, Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and on the back. So no more plastic back on the smaller variant of this device. All right, so let's go ahead and run through the device and change some settings up on here uh, like I always like to do. So very, very nice device. It's a very small 6.1 inch display. Like I mentioned earlier, it is a dynamic AMOLED comes in at 1080 by 2340 covered in Corning Gorilla Glass Victus and it has a peak brightness of 1300 nits 120 hertz so let's go into display and change this to dark let's go ahead and up this brightness on here turn off adaptive brightness uh, extra brightness too if you want uh, the motion smoothness is automatically set to adaptive so it should go all the way down to 1 hertz all the way up to 120 hertz I'm not sure if it is an LTPO, so it might just be uh, going down to 24 hertz. And uh, as far as screen timeout, let's go ahead and change that to 5. And then go to navigation bar and turn on swipe gestures. So hopefully, I'm, I'm concerned about the battery life on here. It is a small battery, 3700 milliamp hour battery. So I am concerned about battery life. The Ultra is getting fantastic battery life. Uh, better than my Pixel right now with all the uh, Pixel updates going out. The Ultra is actually getting pretty good battery life and I am quite pleased with the uh, battery life on the Ultra. So we'll see how the regular S22 fares up against that. So very, very nice. Here is a quick walkthrough of the device. You get your power button and you get your volume slider over here on the right hand side along with an antenna band. Your 5G right there. You get a a SIM tray, no micro SD card support. You get a microphone, USB type C, one of your speakers. Over here on the left hand side, you get nothing other than about three antenna bands. Up top, you get a microphone and an antenna band. Here is the camera layout on the back with your three cameras set up. Uh, your main sensor is going to be a 50 megapixel main sensor, aperture of f1.8. And uh, your secondary is going to be a telephoto. 10 megapixel with an aperture of f2.4, 12 megapixel ultra wide, aperture of f2.4, your front facing camera, 10 megapixel, aperture of f2.2, and you can record 4K on the front and on the rear per usual, fantastic news, and the back you can record all the way up to 8K uh, video, which nobody uses that, but I'm very excited about the 4K camera on the front. And uh, not even the OnePlus 10 Pro can do 4K on the front, so that's very nice. Bluetooth 5.2, you do get stereo speakers on here with Dolby Atmos, so that is really, really nice. And uh, yeah, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, hopefully this processor is pretty good. And as far as uh, overheating and stuff, I know the last S20s and the S21s did have a overheat issue with the Snapdragon 888. And hopefully this one does a little bit better. IP68 dust and water resistance 
and it feels really nice in the hand. I'm not going to lie, it is smaller than I prefer, but uh, it might be a little bit, uh, actually, it might not be that bad as far as carrying this around in my pocket. You definitely won't know that this is in your pocket. Uh, it is a small device. It feels nice in the hand. I like the flat style that they're going with. I swear uh, the S21 Fan Edition was a glimpse of what this was supposed to be. If the Fan Edition came out last year when it was supposed to have, that would have been a glimpse at the new S22 series because it looks more like an FE than it does the older S21s. And as you can see, the bezels on here are quite nice. Uh, they are very slim and you pretty much get all screen. It is a flat display so that it's nice. A lot of people like flat displays compared to curve. So hopefully everything works out and I'm excited to use this device. And I wanna check it out and see, should you even get this device? Is the regular S22 uh, worth it or not? Is this just a flop? Or should you just spend the money and get the Ultra or go home? Or maybe even the Plus version, which is pretty much an oversized version of this at $1,000 or, so, or $899 or 999 I'm not sure exactly how much the Plus version is. But should you even bother, stick around here. I'm going to do some tests on this and compare it to the Ultra and the S21 Fan Edition and see maybe the Fan Edition might be good for you if you want to upgrade and get a brand new Samsung device. So that is my first impressions and unboxing of the Galaxy S22 in the Phantom White. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. That's quite all right. Subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.